how you doing I'm gonna wrap up the book of Revelation thanks for sticking around with me and uh, sticking it out and uh, hopefully keep everything in context and uh, right let's divide that word of truth out of it and uh, it's gonna be Revelation 22 uh, we'll get it wrapped up and uh, let's kick it off Revelation 22 verse 1 last chapter of the book of Revelation in the Bible itself Revelation 22 verse 1 pray to God Almighty the Creator not Satan who plays God and claims to be God but the Creator so we'll keep everything in context the best we can pray to God Almighty Revelation 22 verse 1 and he showed me a pure river of water of life clear as crystal proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb okay that's a uh, River water of life, throwing it, coming out, throwing. You can read that Ezekiel 47, and uh, as you'll see, like I said in the last chapter and prior studies, it's probably giving birth, and you know, and they're going to teach that the tree of life is Jesus and so on. It's ridiculous. Okay, Jesus is Satan. Period, and you're going to see that the tree of life on both sides of this river, so it's probably genitals and whatnot, and women and men. And I'll get to that in a section. But anyway, check out Ezekiel 47, 47 chapter. And when we get to the end of the chapter, you'll see that people sojourn there, which are ethnics, the nations, in the prior chapter. They bring their gifts to God. And people that sojourn there, their children will take partake in this inheritance and so on. And people will bring their gifts to God. Now, well, that's in the seat and playing God context and stuck in that dimension with them. Or and that which will be going on in our dimension children of God and God that make the cut hence the torment day and night if you're stuck in their dimension so but uh which they which they teach coming up here you don't want to miss this coming up it's uh they teach it goes back to 96 AD which is absurd it's obviously future and it's going to be their dimension the demon dimension stuck with them people that didn't make the cut that didn't overcome the worship of Jesus and whatever bringing the Jesus agenda along and all that, and his name is 666, and it says that. The Kenites are the main cause of Satan's offspring, which is children of Satan, his creations, hybrids. They claim to be Jews, but lie. Now the synagogue of Satan. Revelation 2, 9 and 3, 9. The tears, Zuan, among the wheat. True Israelites. And people grafted into that bloodline who want the truth and who have overcome. And that's what it's about, is the truth and your good deeds. And you honor God, only God, no one beside him. On either side. Okay, so so this is probably families and whatnot, men and women, for eternity. And in this context, yeah, that is probably the demons and all that dimension. But you understand where it's coming from. So we're going to have our own little paradise. They'll be in torment day and night. The best case scenario is they'll be cooked, their soul. That'd be the best best case scenario is that they'd be cooked <laughs> but uh, as you'll see in Revel in the chapter 20th chapter torment day and night forever and ever so but anyway moving along uh, 47 Ezekiel you can read that uh, the water after the four it's taught the 40th chapter and on is millennium uh, supposedly after all in spirits I say the millennium is going now the Lord's day hence the Lord is Satan the Lord Jesus is Satan taught in Jerusalem for three and a half years 42 months angels 1290 did miracles in sight of man deceives all by the means of the miracles makes an image the one world order the people the one world of people making an image to that cross and all that that they won't heal raised from the dead he heals people that, that believe in him people that don't believe in him are killed your soul goes to hell if you don't believe in that give me a break Revelation 13 2 Thessalonians 2 but continuing on chapter uh, verse 2 and in the midst of the street of it, in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, so in the midst of the street of it, so what do we, so, so you got the, the water, the water proceeding up from the throne, and in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, now it's taught as Jesus, how is he on both sides, and in the middle, let me break, it's genitals, most likely, men and women, okay, and let me just finish this verse and in the midst of the street of it and on either side of the river in the midst of the street of it genitals and on either side of the river men and women was there the tree of life there you go genitals obviously 
I'll get to the tree in the second half. Which bear twelve manner of fruits, and the other fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. The nations is ethnics, that word. Ethnos. From uh, 1484. Non-Jew, non- twelve tribes. I mean, non-Caucasians. And uh, so, so the, the tree is Yasaf, obviously from Genesis, the book of Genesis. 1696, from Yasaf, the spine and the backbone. So you get the tree. So it's probably genitals, men and women, that river in the middle, the genitals, and the tree on either side, men and women, men and women's genitals. And what are they doing? They're giving tree of life. So you look up in 12 manner. Manner supplied, he, she, or it. Okay? Fruits, pull, pluck, take. Uh, healing of the nations. Offshoot, offspring, healing. For attendance. Look up the word healing. I ain't making this up. Look it up for yourself in the Greek. This is Greek, New Old Testament Hebrew. Healing, cure, domestic, attendance, household. So they're adding to the household. You have 12 manner of fruit for the household. There you have it. And the leaves are for the healing. The tree is the people and so on. Genitals and it's probably giving birth and families and whatnot. And they give it, they build to their attendance. Hence the 47th, end of the 47th chapter of Ezekiel is people that sojourn there, their children and so on, become, take part in the inheritance and whatnot. And you can check that out in Zechariah 14, the last few verses of 14th chapter, the destruction, all souls melt, all, all flesh melts in the blink of an eye, which coincide with 1 Corinthians 15, 51 and 2, Zechariah 14, and then all of a sudden people are bringing their gifts, the nations, ethnics, to God, to honor God, the spirit that moved on the water. And you're going to see here the curse, next verse, what was the curse? Genesis chapter 3, Genesis chapter 3, verses 14, the curse enmity put between men and women, between Satan's creations trying to make hybrids in the 12 tribes, the Israelites, that's why it's always 12, 12 tribes, and that's what it is, the 12 zodiac symbols, which is symbolic, and when you made to use for signs and seasons, the stars and whatnot, and that's what was probably going on, that's probably the whole point of this, is to make families, make different ethnicities, you know, ethnicities, and that's the curse, was to eat dirt, eat the earth. We live and we eat the dirt. We eat earth. We eat the animals that eat earth. And we go back to the earth. Okay, so... So, for the healing for the nations, the trees, okay? So, third verse. And there shall be no more curse. Genesis 3, verse 14, the curse. The enmity between everybody and... And, uh... And then, the eating dirt... So we'll be in spirit bodies. We'll all be in spirits in the blink of an eye. And you'll be placed according to your works, where you belong, according to your works. 2 Corinthians 11, the ending will be according to your works. This is coming up here. And that's what's going to happen. You'll be placed according to where you belong. You're in a demon dimension, probably torment day and night with them. Something something equivalent to this. you are seeing all around you. And the um, paradise where we'll be. God and children of God, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit of God. That's where all that manifestation is. God and we house the Holy Spirit we're that Christ we're the Christ the, the children of God which is anointed the anointed ones that house that Holy Spirit the oil painting of the blood on the lamb's posts on the doorpost on the lamb's blood we're the lamb get it the Holy Spirit symbolic of that oil it's Exodus chapter 12 come on people do the math so yeah so no more curse but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and of his servants, and his servants shall serve him. Yeah. God's throne, us, will all be living in paradise. The demons in them who brought the Jesus agenda along. His name is 666. That image, that is, says and pronounces Jesus. Check out the links in the descriptions, and every Revelation video in the description says the name Jesus. 660 and 6 pronounces the name Jesus from transliterated from Greek into English. Okay, so there'll be no more curse. We're going to be worshiping God and so on. Obviously, demons in their dimension, probably similar to this. Four, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. Hence, you know, you know his name. <coughs> we call him, I call him God now. Started off, Yahweh was Lord, and we were figuring out that Lord was Satan, that was that Lord is Jesus, which is Satan, so I'm changing it to God. You see how we progressed over the last year, year and a half. And there's this book of Revelation since July. Uh, you know, 
get the truth and we reveal it as it comes out. Study to show ourselves approved. Rightly divide the truth out of it. That's what we're doing. So, we're going to know his fame. His name's in the forehead. That's how you worship the beast and all that, which is Jesus, that image. Because it's in your head. You worship thinking you're worshiping God. That's why you pray for miles upon you. Hide, seek death, can't find it. You've been worshiping that. When God shows up, we're all spirit, it's a blink of an eye. You've been worshiping Satan the whole time. And the names will be in our forehead. We'll know his name. He'll know us. He always knows our hearts. He's the only one that knows the hearts, all your thoughts. And uh, there should be no more night there. Four five, and there should be no more night there. And they shall need no candle, neither the light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them the light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And now where are you going to be put? According to your deeds, according to your works, coming up. 6. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true, and the Lord God of it. The holy prophet sent his angels to show unto his servants, show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. That all turned the spirit and blood of an eye. Revelation 6, starting at the 12th verse. Revelation 9, a couple verses in. See, death can't find it. Pray for miles of fallen you to hide you from the one who sits on the throne. Sixth seal. Because of God's return. We're all worshiping Satan, thinking it's God. There's no only be God. There's no there's no one beside anybody. There's only one God, the Holy Spirit, that moves on the water. Genesis 1 verse 2. The waters are the people. We house the Holy Spirit kingdoms within us. Period. It's pretty simple. I mean, that's all the studies, it's pretty much common sense at this point. So keep the sayings, you gotta rightly write the truth out of it. That's what's that's what's true. Seven, behold I come quickly, blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Keep the truth. And the Holy Spirit rides upon the people, the waters. Not to be confused, the confusion, the babble which rides on the people. Revelation 17. Uh, 8. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down and worshipped before the feet of the angel and showed me these things. And worship angels, only God, obviously. The angel is a messenger, that's what angel means. He uh, said to me, 9. He said unto me, See thou not do it, for I am thy fellow servant. And of thy brethren, the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book, worship God. There it is. Worship God. Nobody else. Only God. And spirit, truth, and good deeds. There you have it. So, he's a fellow servant. You don't worship angels, you worship God and only God. That's that. So, and, that, and that's and spirit, truth, and deed. That's how you do it. Spirit is within us. We're that, we're that lamp slain from the foundation. We've been being killed over 10,000 years now since flesh was created. Check out the last studies and work your way up. And uh, see how we've got truth revealed through us and straightened it out. Okay, so it's Jesus is Satan, the Antichrist. He already came. Taught in Jerusalem for 42 months. 1290s of Daniel's days. Okay, so there you have it. Dragon gives power unto the beast. Second Thessalonians 2 comes after the work of Satan. That is Satan, the dragon playing that role. There's three roles. Revelation 16. Okay, Revelation 13. That is Satan. And in one of his roles. And the false prophet role now you see you teach from the pulpit. Probably got many different forms he comes in. But his main one was Jesus. Okay, and that's his name. 666. Says the name Jesus. Period. And transliterated from Greek to English. So don't worship the image uh, the that or the angel he's one of us coming down messenger good bad who knows but nonetheless get the message of John and we rightly by truth regardless no matter what it is so 10 and he saith unto me seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book for the time is at hand it's at hand it's going right now right then first John chapter 4 the Antichrist we told you would come and is even now in the world <laughs> did miracles in the sight of man walking on water healing you know raising from the dead you know what I mean? Come on. It seems the whole world by means of the miracles. Revelation 13, 13. You know, make fire come down from the sky. And that one world system. You're seeing now the hot program, weather control, and all that. I mean, do, do the math, people. That's what the, the beasts are. One world order, and the dragon gives power to that second beast, which playing two horns like a lamp, playing that role of Jesus. That's Satan playing Jesus, playing God, the only entity that claims to be God. See, Lucifer, the Antichrist, Jesus, playing Jesus, okay? Isaiah 14, coming up here. Okay, don't say 11, he is unjust, let him be unjust still. 
he was just filthy, let him be filthy still. He that was righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Okay. Twelve, and behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according to according as his work shall be. Let the ones be filthy and so on. You can't change somebody. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Now you get everything you deserve. You know, every man according to his works. Second Corinthians 11 as well. And that's how endings will be. Where we'll be placed according to what we've done, how we thought, how what our intentions are. That's why we strive. Keep that Holy Spirit in you. Not the spirit of confusion, babble. Satan, the spirit of error. And he's coming quickly, so... So there is not an event coming next. The next event is an Antichrist. It's God's return, turning all his flesh to spirit and blood of eye. Hence, people pray for miles to fall on, pray for death, can't find it. We've been worshiping Satan the whole time, thinking it was God. Okay, so 13, I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. The Alpha and Omega, hence God's death. 12, Exodus 12, 29, God smote the firstborn. Nobody else, not Satan. What do we with Satan? Passover worshipped every year. Worshipping Satan. Okay, I mean, do the math. It makes sense, doesn't it? So, Alpha and Omega, but that fourth horseman, death, hell rides it. If you look up hell, it's grave, supplica, but it's from one, the first letter, Alpha. <laughs> look it up. Brings it right back to hell. Brings it right back to one, Alpha. See the connection there? Now, it's just so jumbled. That's probably just the four fallen who claim to be protecting cherub of the throne and Satan plays God and then the four fallen or whoever are probably playing the protecting angels of God and then God's four protecting cherubs which the job that Satan used to do Ezekiel 1 you can read about them with their spaceships coming down now whether it's God or Satan you gotta keep everything in context where God is God and God and Satan is playing God makes sure when you read everything so make sure you do that Okay, so now beginning in the end. Fourteen. Blessed is he that do the commands, commandments. Blessed are they that do the, his commandments, and they that and that they may have the right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. Now they say this goes back to ninety six A D. Here, this next verse. Give me a break. This is future. Okay, and that's what it's saying. See, the spaceship, the sphere, Revelation, King James Version, Companion Study Bible, Revelation chapter 12, and the footnotes, the sphere floats above earth. That's probably this heaven coming, claiming that that's heaven coming down. They're probably stuck in the demon dimension, hence torment day and night, forever and ever. Now, you go into that kingdom, or whatever it is, that spaceship, or whatever it is, and outside are the murderers, the whoremongers, and so on. Next verse here. And that's my take on that. And hence, we'll be in our own dimension, paradise, with all the wicked will be stuck in their dimension with the demons. The fallen angels were never, were never born of woman, never born of water, a water sack of woman. They wanted to do it their own way. See, taking the, the flesh DNA, making hybrids, trying to kill and defeat God all the while, to kill us off. Okay, so. So, 15. We enter into the gates, probably that spaceship, that sphere from Satan. Revelation 12, King James Version, Companion Study Bible, footnotes. 15, for without our dogs, like Gainus and sorcerers, they claim it's druggies and whatnot. I say it's also as well, sorcerers, like the miracles Jesus did in the sight of man, Satan playing that role, doing the miracles to deceive all. Okay, whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Well, there you have it. Whoever loves and makes a lie. This is going to be what's this. That's why it's torment day and night forever and ever. Like I said, the best case scenario is their soul will be cooked. <laughs> because this is what's going to, this is what that dimension will be like. That existence. Because that didn't make the cut. Because ending will be according to the works. So, uh, there you have it. 16. I, Jesus, sent mine angels to testify, my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root of David, the root and offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. Huh. It's funny, Lucifer's the bright morning star, Isaiah 14. How is Jesus the bright morning star? Because he's Satan, because that is Lucifer, that is Satan, playing that role. Isaiah 14. Okay, because that, 
and he's the root and offspring of David. Revelation 2 9 and 3 9. 3 9. Key of David, knowing those wicked hybrids, Satan. And, and that's what Satan crept in, planted his wicked seed in that Judah king line. Matthew 13. Why would we want to go to any other line? Because the king, Judah, is the king line. It's only, it's only one of 12 tribes, the 12 tribes of Israel. Jacob's 12 children, the 12 patriarchs spread over the world. It's the Caucasian people, 119 in the Hebrew dictionary, Adam, Adamites, the Israelites. Edom is Esau, is Jacob's twin brother. And he grabbed Jacob's the heel grab. He grabbed his heel on the way out. Okay, so King Line is the King Judah's the king line of the Caucasian people. Levi's the priest line. That's where Satan crept in, planted that wicked seed. What am I saying? I'm probably saying that David's probably a Kenite. That's where Satan planted his wicked seed in that king line. Hence the twelve tribes split was caused by David's son Solomon. He worshipped 600 concubines. He worshipped all their idols. Ten tribes split, went over the Caucasus Mountains, north. Over the Caucasus Mountains, to be called Caucasian, spread over the world. Hence, Abraham means the father of many nations. Okay? So he's the offspring of David, the bright morning star. Jesus is talking right there. Isaiah 14, there's only one bright morning star, that's Lucifer. And that's why he's saying that. He's admitting it. Plain and simple. Okay? And that's all there is to it. 17, and the spirit and the bride say, come. And let him that heareth say, Come. And let him that is a thirst come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. And Holy Spirit dwells within us. And take freely of that. The bride and everybody say, Come. Anybody who's a thirst. Just study shows a proof rather by the word of truth out of it. And then that Holy Spirit, let it dwell in you. Kick that spirit of error out. And how by studying and bringing out truth. And doing good deeds, mostly just good deeds. Revelation 14, Revelation 19, 1 Peter chapter 4. Good deeds. The only thing we'll bring with us when we die. We'll go back to our spirit form. Celestial bodies, and we have a terrestrial body, flesh. All flesh will be turned spirit in the blink of an eye at some point. That's the and that's the teachings that anywhere and everywhere. Okay, so if you're thirst, take it. Water early freely. 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. That Holy Spirit will testify. It will do the speaking. You can hear it. It does the speaking on its own. It doesn't need nobody to testify for it. That's God. That's the Holy Spirit that rides upon the people. That dwells within us. Children of God, that is. So, okay, so we're getting uh, to the end here. 18, right, testify unto me that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Okay, now maybe that Satan calls himself God. He'll add. They don't want nobody tampering with his little plan. Who knows? Because obviously we derive truth. So that that's what it is. We take the truth and what it is, and then that's that. And if it alters somewhat, you know, and then we go with truth. What's revealed to us by that Holy Spirit, through that that knowledge, wisdom of that Holy Spirit. Not Satan, the spirit of error, lies, father of all lies. John chapter eight. Author confusion, Satan. Okay, so, so uh, written in the book nineteen. If any man shall take away from the words that are in the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. Okay, so that's pretty much common sense. There you go. I'm keeping in what context it is, probably Satan, just like he was pissed at the beginning with Adam and Eve, cursed them, hence the curse is broken, he has no more say, so <laughs> he won't have any say, God is just and righteous, and he will judge just and righteously according to your works, so 20, and he which testifies these things say, surely I come quickly, amen, even so come, Lord Jesus, now, God come, and turn everyone to spirit in the blink of an eye, that's why frankly I think we had a good run, so I mean, he was testified these things say surely. He was testified. We testify. The Holy Spirit testifies all and so on. Doesn't need nobody. But we reveal that truth as lambs. Reveal that Holy Spirit. That truth. Let's wrap it up. 21. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Now, the grace of God Almighty, not Satan, who claims to be God, the true God Almighty, the only one, no one beside him. And there's the truth. 
666 is Jesus, and that is his name, and that is that image, that idol, and the dragon was that. Satan is the one playing that role. And only one of his roles, you see in that third role, coming full, full, full uh, circle. And that's the book, The Revelation. I hope you all uh, enjoyed it. I hope it was revealing, and it's the only teaching you're going to hear it anywhere else taught. You heard it here first. Jesus is Satan. Don't be duped. Don't be fooled. Come out of Babel confusion. Revelation 17, 18. How do you come out of Babel? How do you come out of confusion if you're not already in it? Because it already has happened. Okay, and they joined church and state with Jesus. That was the point. The one world order. The joining of church and state. And they control the whole thing. And they've been doing it. So, I love you guys. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for sticking with me from the book of Revelation. I don't know what we're going to do next, but check out some of my other videos. Some of my homemade, my own songs I've made. Made videos for them. <coughs> and, uh, Hope you enjoyed the book of Revelation. We'll see what we're going to do next. And uh, we'll get to it when we get around to it. Uh, thanks for sticking around. Study always to show yourself approved every day. Rather than divide the word of truth out of it. Out of what we do have. Regardless, enemy's words, whoever's words. Doesn't matter. It's what we got. So it's called scripture. There's other books. Enoch. Check those out. Under my thing, you got the second Esdras. Book of Jasher. You can find on the other biblical teachings. On the Wild Bill of Mott. Please subscribe. Thumbs up. Count of these demons thumbs downs these jerks subscribe for future activity and thanks for sticking around i love you guys check that second timothy 2 out study shows approve every day rather by the word of truth and i pray to god almighty and thanks for watching